The Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired in the Maine Department of Labor operates the Business Enterprise Program through the Randolph Shepard Act for individuals who are legally blind. Many people who are legally blind possess some vision. You may work with coworkers every day that you don't know are visually impaired. Judy is one of the individuals in the Business Enterprise Program who is legally blind. She manages the Riverview Snack Bar. My business is possible through the Department for the Blind and Visually Impaired Business Enterprise Program, which enables people who have impairments like mine to uh, be self-employed. I would never have expected to be able to do this. I wound up learning about the Business Enterprise Program after I had been looking for work. That's what started the ball rolling. She was looking for some extra hours and it worked out that across the street from where she was working we had a snack bar that we were going to tra transfer into a market and it's an unmanned market. We started teaching her how to do the stocking and the ordering and so she was doing all the pieces. And We all kind of worked together. We had to, um, we brought in some professionals to help um, with the process to kind of accommodate and make some more adaptations for her to make it so that it could happen. It's the Zoom text on my computer and the CCTV is um, invaluable because I get bills. So I put it on the, uh, the CCTV so I can read the figures properly. It's an automated snack bar. You know those checkout places where you pass uh, your credit or debit cards in front of us an electronic eye. Well, my snack bars run very much like that. Several years ago started leading the nation in unmanned micro markets, which are now giving a great advantage to individuals looking to augment their income in the state of Maine and nationally. So we are very proud that we have been leading in that area. I'm Jesse, I work for the Riverview Avanti for the Division of the Blind and Visually Impaired, and I am a stock slash driver. I take her to and from her house location to work, and I also help her um, stock the shelves and keep stuff clean and help her keep stuff inventory and up to date. He is actually like my right hand man. Um, he does things uh, for me that I can't do myself because of my vision impairment. He brings me back and forth to work, he can take me to the bank to make deposits. He's got a good attitude. He's very personable with my customers, and uh, he likes it. She's very wise, and she has a lot to contribute, and she has a lot to teach me, and I'm, actually, I enjoy it. If I had no opportunity to work with the DBVI or the Business Enterprise Program and the Department for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Oh man, I would wind up, probably, my landlord says differently, but just, I have envisioned myself living in a cardboard box underneath a bridge. I kid you not, because you don't make a whole lot of money on Social Security or disability. Not enough to pay rent and to feed yourself. Since we've opened up Market and Judy's been over there, we've gotten a lot of good reviews because people who were not getting any kind of service in the evenings or on the weekends are now getting almost the same thing that people are getting on the first shift. So they really like having the variety in there and having it available to them. When Judy's counselor approached us that they had an individual looking to augment their retirement income, I immediately thought of our unmanned micro-markets. These micro-markets allow her to work part-time while still earning an income, engaging in community, and increasing her skills uh, throughout the business world. So it seemed to be a perfect fit. I learned that I can meet challenges and succeed in all sorts of different ways that I never expected to be able to do.